Well, I hope everyone's up for another theme video, because that's what we're going to make. Woohoo! So, uh, before we go on, we got some good news and bad news. Um, the, I'll start off with the bad news first. Uh, one of the T's has passed away. Unfortunately, it was uh, Iris, the Haplopalma albostriatum, the thigh zebra. I'm not sure exactly what the cause of death was, per se, on the specimen. Um, but when she molted, it didn't really seem very right, because she had her old chlorocyra stuck on her new ones, so... The fact that she probably couldn't eat very properly um, was maybe the cause of death on it. But that really sucks, but I'm hoping I can try to find another one if I can. And anyway, but the good news is, the upside to it, is that the HD camera is working again. The only thing I had to do was upgrade the firmware, and now it records and whatnot, and that's going to be great because I can be able to do more TV videos in HD. Sweet. All right, let's get started with the feeding video, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, well, the first tea we're, I was supposed to feed is the Afonol Palma Simani, the Costa Rican Zebra. Well, as you can s probably see already, she's molting. You can definitely make out the spermatheci. And yep, yeah. right, won't disturb her. All right, this one here is my Elda Facilis, the fire red bird eater. She sure has grown since we last saw her, freshly molted. So uh, see if she'll eat. There we go, awesome. And oh yes, we'll record also the time it takes to actually feed them. Right now, I'm not sure if you can actually see, it's 9.14 uh, a.m. And we're going to feed the adult female A. urticans, the Peru Pinto, named Cat. <laughs> there we go. She loves it. Alright, this is Petunia, Berkey Palma Classy, the Mexican Pink. Sure looks like a gorgeous specimen. Ooh, nice. Beautiful. Well, here's uh, an update video of uh, Nicola, my unfortunately only surviving Plea Padayama. Uh, that big female uh, passed away uh, not too long ago, as you have heard. Uh, now I'm pre-mold, finally. Uh, so this one's actually going to uh, mature out. God, I'm kicking myself because she died. Shoot. Alright, next one. Alright, before I go on to the next tea, i got some more news to share to you. I just called Amanda and Martin from Tarantula, Canada. I was asking if uh, they needed... Um, Nicola, my P. Plantiama male, uh, as you saw, he's in pre-molt and he's definitely going to mature out uh, next molt. Unfortunately, they can't take him as of yet because they're working with a male, but they're getting an import soon, and I'm getting this tea. And it's this tea. I hope I could spell it right, but here it goes. Hanuma Villa Samika, that awesomely rare ornamental. They're importing only five of these in Canada. I think the expected price is around two twenty-five, and I'm gonna buy one to complete the Pokey collection. That's the awesome news. Can't wait. Right, that's pretty much the most exciting news of this feeding video. But anyways, let's go back to it now and feed the Saratajaris Marshali female, the straight horn baboon named Marsha. Attack so gently. Alright, now we're going to feed Chloe the E. Tricolentus. Chewy and beautiful. Ooh, nice. She got it. Didn't expect her to catch superworms, but I think she's starting to love it now. 
This also could be a Parafyza species, uh, particularly Parvula, but these are also sold as E. truculentus, so I'm not sure which one it is. But yeah, she's looking pretty awesome now. Alright, now this one here is the penultimate male, LP. You can see it's a little bit, well actually a lot different than the Elder Vasils I showed you earlier. But uh, here we go, Pierre. Amazing. Let's try Wendy, a juvenile female, uh, Chaco Goldeny, Gramasola Pull Stripes. Yeah, I think she wants something. <laughs> wow, awesome. Alright, just removing a molt. Ah, finally, for my Pier Minia. Yeah, that's a Pier Minia, alright. Let's get a closer look at the specimen. Now you can actually see the prettiness of her. Uh, I don't want to move her too much because she molted. But I just want to give you an idea what they look like freshly molted. Wow. This one's definitely female. Um, I would say a good four and a half inches. All right, this one here is a juvenile male, uh, P. Ornata, the fringed ornamental. I could tell by looking at the abdominal patterns. It's very hard to see, but they're kind of dark. So, let's see uh, what he'll do. Holy crap. There we go. <laughs> nice. Alright, my LV is really not interested in eating, but I figured I should take this opportunity to film this one, since we never actually see her. Just wanted to share with you that I do have a Singapore Blue, and... There she is. Pretty cool, isn't she? Alright, Mystery seems to be grooming herself, but uh, we'll see if we can try to feed her anyway. Uh, this one here is a Scytheracanthus living stony, the Livingston's tea. And I was right. Not interested. Alright, go back to grooming. This is a request for Dr. Tarantula in 1998. He PM'd me saying that he wanted to see a video of um, my Cobalt Blue. But uh, here she is. I'm going to try to feed Midna and see she eats. I'm not expecting her because she looks like to be in pre molt But we'll see if she does. I don't think so. Here's an Avicularia Leda, the Puerto Rican pink toe. This one is Molly. Let's see if she grabs it. Yep, she did. And here's the one that molted. You can see it looks a lot different than the other one, but here we go. No, not interested. Oh well. Alright, this is an Agent of Kelada, the Brazilian giant white knee. These have a huge appetite. I'm hoping my Derek will eat. A little help for me, but you got it. This one here is a Eupalestris Wagenbergi, the white collared Serena. Let's give her a little uh, cricket. Let's see if she eats. Oh, I think she wants it.
There we go. Nice. <laughs> that little one is about two years old. Believe it or not, one of the slowest growing species that I have. Well, of course, next to the king baboon. My rose hair grew faster than this. But an awesome recommended first tarantula. This is for Arachnid Rules 12. Uh, this is how I keep my H. Incy, a burrowing species with our burrow tendencies. So let's see if she's going to eat. She's got a massive set of tunnels. Species is almost full grown. Uh, it's a dwarf species. Wow, that's it. This is Lassidura Kluki, the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. Wow, that was awesome. Let's try it again. I got another cricket. See how well it does again. This is a uh, Necroth. <laughs> what a pig. Here is my pretty Pocothera tigrina wasseli, the Wessel Tiger ornamental. Tina, th around 3 inch female. Let's see if she's going to grab it. She should. Ah, there we go. There, check this out. Look at that. Abdomen's kind of small course she molted recently but I'm gonna get that admin fat but awesome she's she's lovely some more pokies this one here is a striata supposedly female there we go grabbed it no problem yeah these are the Mysore ornamental in case I didn't mention it earlier here is Nerissa, Triniochilus uh, cordatus, the Kilimanjaro mustard baboon. And uh, I think she got it. Yeah, she did. Very hard to make out, but you can actually see her way down there with the superworm. Pet hole. Here is Zulin, my Kilobrachis. Uh, Guanaciensis, the Chinese fan. <laughs> Crouching tiger hidden dragon style. Alright, mature male, Pilcotheria petersoni, the ghost ornamental. Uh, he's going to Tarantula Canada next week. So he can breed. Let's remove the molts. Heh, <laughs> go figure from this to a very dark green color. Uh, not interested, but uh, here's a video for him. Alright, let's try some Cirrocosmos species. Here I have the Elegans, the Trinidad Dwarf. Yeah, I think it got it. No. Let's try a Perez Melissi. That one got it, no problem. I think I missed that one. No. Here's Wendy's big sister Peach. Another Choco Goldeny. <laughs> there we go. It's actually the faster growing of the females that I have. Still waiting for Charlotte to molt, but um, not anytime soon. Alright, now let's go to the Pecanserides. There's Isabella. She's so evil.
<laughs> no problem. And yeah, she eventually did find it and get it and record it. And so did that bee wagon sling, which is going to need an upgrade very soon. Let's bang its head. <laughs> Poor cricket, but the uh, tea's got to eat. Alright, so it took around an hour to feed all these teas on the shelf. Now we're going to the middle shelf of all the arboreals and these two. Alright, here's a male, uh, C. Marshali, the straight horn baboon. You saw my adult female, but here's my juvenile male. Come on, Greg. There we go. Took a little while. Zoom in on him. Yeah, he's doing all right. All right, here's Hans, mature male, Theraphosa sturmi, Burgundy Goliath bird eater. Wow, he's quick for a huge guy. Wow, it's amazing how fast he is. All right, next one. See if you'll eat a second worm. Good job, my man. He's having problems. Poor guy. He is pretty old, though. Yeah, I think he got it. <laughs> nice job, though. I think Belinda doesn't seem to be interested in food. Uh, that's that Bibomi that I sexed uh, three days ago. That molted. Looking very sharp. Rejuvenated leg over here. It's probably going to uh, recover the next time she molts. But, yeah. Definitely going to put her in a 6 liter shoebox enclosure uh, later on. Alright, here's Hiroko. Arito Palma Recepi, the Rip Tree Spider. And it's just as quick as I said her name. She grabbed it. Cool. Uh, not another one. Damn. Uh, this was uh, my Tapankinius subcarulus, the uh, which one was it? The metallic tree spider. Uh, something wasn't right when uh, I looked at her yesterday and uh, gave her a cricket before she ate it. And I don't know. It was humid in there. Had some air holes. <sighs> that really sucks. Uh, here is a Philippus rufescens, the burgundy skeleton. Oh, he wanted, she wanted it. Except that cricket tried to make a break for it. There we go. <laughs> um, so it is. This one actually may look like a male, uh, judging from its uh, ventral shot. Pity that we can't really see it very well, but anyways, cool. Let's try some adult pokies. This one here is my Ornata female. I'm trying to get a good super worm. Good girl. You can see the colors on the Ornata. Big pokey. Here's Roy, a uh, juvenile male Gramasola pulchra, Brazilian black. Just gotta find a super room for him. Oh, yes. There we go. Here's Athena, Brachypalma smithy, Mexican red knee. See she's gonna eat. There we go. Good girl. Here is Daisy, female LP. Oh, she did not like that. It's 
payback time. <laughs> Good girl. I've got that one from K Man on Arachnid Boards. It's the very first transaction I ever did on Arachnid Boards, and ever since I bought one, I'm hooked. More tappies now. Uh, this one here is a Gigas female, freshly molted, fully mature, not full grown yet. Whoa, you can see she's not happy, holy crap, she's very scary. <laughs> All I can say this, tappies are evil, seriously. Alright, here's uh, Lisa Tabinikinius Sancti Vincenti, the St. Vincent's tree spider, full grown, mature female. She wants it. You can see another uh, aggressive arboreal. <laughs> there you go. She's quick to bite. Some opposed pulker, Pama Blonde. Got that one. Probably Lita, my Avic Avic female. Common pink toe. Whoop. Hang on. Yeah, she is not happy. Oh well. Look at that. Avic Avic in a Samopoist like threat posture with the fangs bared. <laughs> Definitely not a happy Avic. Alright, so one of my T Gigas isn't interested in eating, and I think I do see an old mold in here. I think a freshly molted one. Yeah, it looks like she did molt. Cool. Alright, I'll take out the cricket and uh, try next one. Number two. There we go. And this is my last T Gigas. Hmm. <laughs> cool. Alright, Canthoscuria Brocklehursi, the giant white banded. This is usually the first tea ever feature in my feeding videos when I go alphabetical order. Uh, Sasha, 5 inch female. <laughs> Expected no less from her. So now it's 11.34 uh, a.m., uh, roughly around two and a half hours since I started making the video. Uh, we are pretty much done the shelf here, um, halfway through this one. So all I have left to do is uh, these six right here and this complete shelf over here and that will be it. Fortunately, I don't really see many attacks, especially this aisle right here. Uh, not many of them were interested in food. So let's do some more. <sighs> Man, this is really not a good day in the tea room. I swear. Uh, this one I actually passed quite a few days ago. I didn't really know, but... Uh, Eva's gone. Sucks. Boy's body's put in the freezer. Um, really don't know what the cause of death was. I'm assuming because she looked like an old specimen. Uh, she probably died of natural causes, but... Really sucks though, because I wanted, really would have liked to determine what kind of Selenocosmus species she was. But bright side, I guess I'm going to rehouse one of my other pokies in here. I'm thinking of my P. Barra because she desperately needs a new enclosure. Then I'll move that to Green Wasselli where the Barra was. So another rehouse uh, that I'm going to uh, put on my list. Here's Jade, P. Antonis female. 
Bolivian Steely Blue Leg. Yes, at least she made me happy to eat. Here we go. Here's Scarlet, Brachypelma Smithy, Mexican Red Knee. <laughs> Good girl. I love her. She's my favorite. And why? Because she's the very reason why I started making YouTube videos on my channel. And she's also the one that rekindled my hobby. I left the hobby around six years ago. Um, didn't feel like getting any teas, but when I started making my YouTube videos, got she got me hooked. And right now I'm at 123 of them. Just superb. Teas are very addicting. Almost too addicting. <laughs> Alright, Morticia. Da -da -da -dum. Da -da -da -dum. B Vagans female, Mexican Red Rum. And a very suitable name because of her black color. Yep, there we go. Sorry for her, uh, the not so much pretty angles, but if you, you can see, she's huge. Hey, right, here's Katana. She's a 20-year-old female uh, Brachypelma Bomi, the Mexican Fireleg. She's been with me ever since I started collecting teas. And there we go. She's a lot more darker colored than Molina. Here's my incredibly fat female uh, Brachypelma Amelia the Mexican painted red leg. <laughs> Look at her. She's eating. Oh, she's big and healthy. Right, this one here is uh, Pseudohoplopus species long-haired, uh, formerly known as Cyclostrum schmarde, the yellow-banded bird eater. Yeah, no problem. Many people have requested me to uh, give a video of my Polinobius muticus, the king baboon. And uh, here she is. Uh, she destroyed her tunnel. But anyways, I'm going to leave this in as an update because a lot of people have requested me to uh, film her. And there you go. Lenotheli megatheloides, the Bolivian funnel web diplorid. Wow. That's amazing. Alright, Lassidora Fracta, Brazilian Smoky Grey Bird Eater. Willow. Brachypelma erratum, the Mexican flame knee. There's one of them. Let's try the second one. That's the one that freshly molted. Yeah. Cool. And I'll save the best for last. The Red Morph Rose Hair Bloom. And we'll put number two in here. Perfect. Expected no less from her. I'll give you a status report on my Fono Palma Simani. She is completely done. See her molts attack. Hang on for a second. Hey Maggie. Usually I like to end the feeding videos off with my, my dog. My seven-year-old female Chitsu, who's very itchy. 
This is what you want, eh? Okay. Sit. Roll over. Roll over. You're cute. Sit. Paw. Paw. High five. Speak. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Back to the the tea in question. All right. Let's call Paul the malt, and I'll show it to you to show you that it's a female. All right. It's a pretty intact malt. Definitely can see the flap right over here, the epigastric furrow or the spermatheci. You can see it's going at a loop structure. See the book lungs right over here. There's one, two, there's another one here, three, four. First pair, second pair. This is where you're supposed to look at to prove that it's a female. If you don't have this flap here, it's a male. That's pretty awesome, and just show you the colors before we go. Wow, this is almost as blue as my cobalt. Very, very happy, but yet disappointed at the same time because we had a lot of deaths from my uh, H. albus striatum, uh, T. sacrulus, or uh, and also the Selenocosmus species. But really happy about this. Hanomila Simica coming next week. So I'm going to go pick it up. Of course I'm going to film it. And hope you enjoy it.